If you are looking for some of the very best plug and play tactics for FM23, you have come to the right place. Whether you're just short of time or you need a complete overhaul of your tactical system, here on the channel I will test the tactics so you don't have to. In today's video I'm going to be looking at a positive 3-3-3-1. The subject of today's tactic testing video is one of the more unique tactics out there. This is the VL Golden Circus. Now it sets up as a 3-3-3-1. Let's break down some of the positions for you. Starting off at the back, you're going to have a sweeper keeper set to defend. You've then got three central defenders. Well, the first of which on the left is a wide centre back set to support. You then have a central defender in the middle set to defend. And on the right hand side, another wide centre back set to support. On the left hand side an inverted wing back set to attack. You then have a register in the middle of the park set to support. And on the right hand side another inverted wing back on attack. Moving into the attacking third you have a shadow striker on the left set to attack. An engancher set to support. And another shadow striker set to attack. And at the top of the pitch you'll have an advanced forward set to attack. So as I said, it's one of the more unique tactics out there. It's a 3-3-3-1, three, 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 or I suppose you could look at it as a 5-1-3-1. One, one. Uh, its tactical style is Golden Circus. Its mentality is positive. If we go to the in possession, it will look like this. The in transition will look like this. The out of possession will look like this. So that's a breakdown of the tactic and some of the positions. I've put it through its paces in a single season sim using Lecce, Real Sociedad and Everton. To kick off the results we have gone to England. We are looking at the Premier League and we find Everton down in 12th place. If we break their season down, they played 38, they won 13, they drew 10, they lost 15, Scored 37 goals, conceded 45, gave them a minus 8 goal difference and they finished on 49 points. That left them 8 points behind Tottenham who qualified for the Conference League and it left them 11 points behind Arsenal who finished in 6th. They qualified for the Europa League. If we go to the profile page of the Premier League, we can see that they don't feature in many of the stats categories but Calvert-Lewin was tied 15th with 12 goals in the league. For their average ratings, they didn't have a player inside the top 20. For assists, we also find that they don't have a player inside the top 20. Player of the match awards, uh, Jordan Pickford up in 5th place, which means that he was obviously put to work. In terms of clean sheets, he also finished in joint 5th place with 13 of those. Yellow cards, luckily discipline not an issue in the Premier League. Distance covered per 90 minutes, nobody in that category there. Tackles per 90 minutes, they didn't have anybody in that category either. And dribbles per 90 minutes rounds us off with nobody in the top 20. If we go to the competitions tab, we can see that they also played in the FA Cup. They were knocked out in the third round by Birmingham City. And they played in the Carabao Cup. They were knocked out in the second round by Wolverhampton Wanderers. The next team we are looking at the results of are in Spain and they are in La Liga so we are looking for Real Sociedad. We find them in 6th place and they have qualified for the Europa League. Break down their campaign, they played 38, they won 22, they drew 5, lost 11, scored 73, conceded 53. That gave them a 20 goal difference and they finished on 71 points. Now, as I said, that qualified them for the Europa League. They finished level on points with Valencia above them. They finished two points behind Athletic Bilbao, who finished in a Champions League place. If we go to the profile screen for the competition, we see Sadiq got himself 27 goals. Uh, Zubi Mendy was the top average rate with 7.32. David Silva got himself 13 assists. Player of the Match Awards... We had Umar Sadiq with 5 and Navarro with 5 in terms of clean sheets. Uh, Ramiro got himself 9 across the season. Once again, no discipline issues, which is a good thing. Uh, distance covered per 90 minutes. Ayan Munaz getting 14.69 per 90 minutes. Tackles per 90 minutes. There was nobody inside the top 20. 
And in terms of dribbles per 90 minutes, Rico with 4.90 features there. So that's La Liga. Look at the rest of the competitions they played in. So they played in the Europa League, got knocked out in the knockout playoff round by Bayer Leverkusen. And they played in the Copa del Rey, but they got knocked out in the quarterfinals of that by Barcelona. The final club that we are looking for is Lecce. They play in Italy in Serie A and we find them in 13th place. If we break down their 38 game campaign, they played 38, they won 8 games, they drew 14, they lost 16, scored 49 but conceded 80 and a minus 31 goal difference and they finished on 38 points. Now they were well off the pace in terms of the teams that qualified for Europe. If we go to the profile page, once again we see they do not feature heavily on the stats page, but if we go looking, we can see Lorenzo Colombo got himself 16 goals. In terms of average ratings, Pongaracic got 7.22. For assists, their top assister was Federico Di Francesco with 11. Player of the Match Awards, they didn't have anybody inside of the top 20 players. For clean sheets, the goalkeeper, uh, Falcone got himself six. Yellow cards, once again, not an issue in terms of discipline, which is quite good. Distance covered per 90 minutes, nobody inside the top 20. Tackles per 90 minutes, nobody inside the top 20. And dribbles per 90 minutes, finally. They had Gallo with 4.80 and Pazella with 4.49. So they have finished 13th in uh, Serie A. If we look at the rest of the competitions they played in, the only other competition they played was the Coppa Italia and they got knocked out in the second round by Bologna. So we have had Everton finishing 12th. We have had Lecce finishing 13th and we had Real Sociedad finish inside of the Europa League qualification places. Right then, if you're still with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button to help the channel out, really do appreciate it. All the support I've had across the past couple of months has been fantastic. Watching the numbers grow really has been helpful. And it's all down to people like yourself who watch the videos and interact with the channel, no matter how big or small that might be. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. There are other tactic testing, including non-league, Wonder Kids, Let's Plays, Rebuilds, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you on another video very soon.